did you have like I mentioned like goals or things that you felt would be great if you could accomplish or that if David that David could accomplish while he was here and then once you got here and started the program did those things change at all um, the two major goals that I had for him and David and I talk about this and um, I always try to make sure I'm keeping on track with the goals that he wants and not just the ones that I want and um, number one for him was to be able to speak and so I was thinking six eight words would be a great start um, because I know how incredibly hard it is for him the other goal that we had for him was um, being able to communicate via his email text Twitter because he is he has the background of technology and computers since he was a small child so that that's a natural for him so getting that door open for him so he can reconnect with his friends and also his business acquaintances which are across the country so that was our two key goals he has um, surprised me several times and the methods that uh, Dr. Lori has instrumented here um, I haven't seen anybody else use a lot of them and I didn't quite understand what they were going to do but I have seen amazing progress with his ability to um, use his mouth for forming sounds and also for um, drinking and eating uh, so that that was astounding to me like last night he was able to pick up a glass and drink without losing any of it which is it sounds simple but it, it is a great step for him he is able to voluntarily say a few words which is new for him and so I, I'm I'm thrilled I'm yeah. getting shiver bumps right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you recommend pursuing intensive therapy, intensive therapy for somebody who has all the factors sort of line up and allows them to do it? I would so strongly recommend that you find any way you can possibly find to come here. Um, it, it starts with the phone call to Brian and after you talk to him for five minutes you feel like you have known him forever and he is going to Hold your hand and take you through this process and you're not going to have to worry and then you come down and you have a wonderful place to stay that has amazing restaurants and sightseeing and waterfront and just it helps you calm and then you come to the center and dr Lori is so professional she has all the skills she needs but she's such a fun person and she introduces fun back in to therapy and you've just covered all the bases and when David beats people sometimes because he's in a wheelchair he doesn't walk he doesn't talk all they see is his disability y'all see David and you have just drawn him out and had fun with him and helped him laugh and enjoy it but you have worked hard on all the areas that he needed work that other people, other therapists have not seen. So I, I cannot say enough to say that you need to come here if there's any way possible.